We'll come back and to shed more light on uh, climate change and uh, youth uh, contribution in this regard. We'd like to be joined over the phone by Dr. Asma Fikri. She's a climate ambassador within the Million Youth Initiative. Good afternoon, Dr. Asma. Good afternoon. Hi. Uh, well, uh, you're an ambassador with, within the uh, Million Youth uh, Volunteer Initiative for Climate Adaptation. Would you tell us more about uh, this initiative? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's known uh, that all countries of uh, the world uh, give great importance uh, to climate changes uh, and uh, research is their causes uh, and ways uh, to confront uh, them and how to adapt uh, to those uh, changes. Yes. Uh, and let me say um, uh, that the speech uh, delivered by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi uh, to world leaders at uh, the recent climate summit which uh, was held uh, in Scotland, uh, and then his uh, excellent his, uh, invitation to hold Egypt for the uh, upcoming climate uh, summit COP27 had a great impact on the part of the initiative. Um, uh, our initiative uh, is uh, a community initiative uh, launched by uh, the voluntary team uh, Foundation for uh, Humanitarian uh, Action uh, in part, uh, partnership with uh, the College of Graduate Studies and Environmental uh, Research at the Al-Azhar uh, University. Mm -hmm. uh, its goal uh, is to train one million young people working to spread uh, uh, a culture uh, of climate awareness and carbon uh, literacy. Um, indeed, uh, last Thursday was a graduation uh, a ceremony of six uh, patches of Egyptian ambassadors and the three patches uh, of European and uh, African uh, ambassadors. Right. Well, uh, you're a member in more than one initiative uh, regarding climate change. Would you tell us how does each initiative differ uh, from the other? I mean, what are the specific features of the different initiatives? Um, you know, everyone believes that what is meant by climate change yeah. uh, is the state uh, of the weather and weather only. Uh, but in fact, climate changes are those related uh, to uh, the sectors related uh, to Egypt's plan uh, for uh, sustainable development 2030. Yeah. Um, uh, these sectors include health, education, energy, women, and children, uh, community, and the family relations. Mm -hmm. So uh, every initiative uh, uh, is concerned with one or more of uh, these sectors. Uh, but in the end, their goal is one, uh, which is uh, adapting uh, to climate changes and achieving the Egypt's uh, vision 2030. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how, from your point of view, can youth participation at the upcoming uh, conference of parties for climate change that will be taking place in Sharm el-Sheikh, uh, how will uh, the participation of youth contribute to the success of this conference? Um, uh, uh, make, uh, make me answer uh, uh, these questions. Um, 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 uh, I'm sorry, please uh, try again, please. Yes. Sorry. Well, go ahead. Uh, would you like me to repeat the question? Yes, yes, please. Uh, okay. Uh, how will the participation of youth uh, uh, have an impact or a positive impact to the success of the upcoming conference of parties of climate change that will be taking place in Sharm el-Sheikh? Um, um, of course, uh, 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 the participation of young people in the climate uh, summit uh, will greatly help uh, its success. Mm -hmm. And the reason is uh, the um, interest of uh, the, pres uh, the presidential uh, institution itself in use as the launch of many uh, initiatives interested uh, in preparing youth uh, cadres uh, capable of uh, uh, leadership at work. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, their uh, uh, participation is a, a practical application of uh, what they learned during their uh, uh, training uh, to represent Egypt in international forums uh, and uh, conferences uh, in addition to exchange experience and knowledge with young guests coming uh, to attend uh, the summit. Um, mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand, these young people uh, are Egypt image to uh, the bullet and uh, the true uh, meaning of uh, the progress uh, and the development. 
Yes. Well, uh, uh, how uh, do you view the ongoing preparations going on right now uh, for the uh, COP27 uh, that will be taking place in Sharm el Sheikh? And uh, uh, why Sharm el Sheikh in particular was selected to host this conference? Uh, okay. Um, uh, all uh, concerned uh, parties in the Sharm el Sheikh are interested in uh, 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 joining hands and working together in full swing uh, in preparation for hosting the climate summit, the COP27, uh, with a true uh, logistical um, uh, preparation uh, or add, uh, adding more uh, plural aspects uh, that show the city of uh, peace at uh, its uh, peace before the world. Um, why Sharm el-Sheikh? Because it's the beginning of the city of peace and has a lot of natural and cultural uh, landscape. Yes. Secondly, Sharm el-Sheikh is currently uh, the only green uh, Egyptian city, meaning that it has become uh, 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 an environmentally friendly city. Of course, they don't use uh, gas. Uh, but uh, rather really uh, on electricity, uh, also uh, all the waters they are getting their energy from uh, uh, renewable energy uh, resources, uh, yes. such as the solar energy. In addition uh, to other uh, tourism and uh, economic reasons. Right. Uh, uh, what does green economy mean, and why is it important during this time? Uh, green economy, it means uh, uh, that um, aims to reducing environmental risks and uh, uh, ecological uh, uh, scarcity. And that aims uh, for uh, sustainable development without, without uh, degrading the, uh, the environment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's right. closely related uh, with uh, uh, ecological economics, but uh, has a more uh, politically uh, applied focus. Uh, and we can define it according to uh, the United Nations Environment Program. Uh, it's um, defined as low carbon uh, resource uh, emissions and uh, so, uh, socially uh, inclusive. Uh, the importance uh, uh, of the green economy uh, is that growth uh, uh, in uh, it, it, uh, employment and income are driven by public and uh, private uh, investment into such economic uh, activities. Yes. Uh, 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 um, and uh, infrastructure and assets uh, that allow reduce carbon emission and the pollution. Uh, enhance, uh, enhance uh, uh, energy and uh, resource uh, efficiency and uh, uh, prevention of uh, the loss of biodiversity and uh, ecosystem uh, sectors. Uh, how does the green economy, in your opinion, contribute towards environmental sustainability? Uh, in fact, we can say that the green economy is the uh, big boon of uh, uh, sustainability, whether environmental or uh, uh, societal. Uh, uh, um, we may uh, note uh, the efforts uh, of the Egyptian state uh, to achieve the uh, principles uh, and, the um, and objectives uh, of the green economy and uh, how to use them in achieving Egypt, uh, Egypt's uh, 2030 vision for uh, uh, sustainable development. Um, right. And we see uh, the state has launched a, a, a number of green uh, initiatives such as uh, the Go Green uh, or Tawil al Agdar initiative, yes. uh, the Sustainable Family Initiative, um, and it was from Mustadam and the others, uh, they all depend on the idea uh, of green uh, economy. Mm -hmm. Right, well, uh, Dr. Asma Fikri, a climate ambassador within the Million Youth Initiative, many thanks for your valuable insight and your viewers that bring us to the end of this edition of Car Local Time. Many thanks for watching and stay tuned for more coming up here on TV International.